Well, good morning everybody. Um, it's a beautiful morning at the farm. Lily has uh, just had a breakfast, so she's very content. And um, yeah, welcome to Mango Farm again. Uh, a lot of you were, were asking me why why am I not doing the um, the lives in the morning? Well, this is the time of year that we're you know we've got a lot of things to do on the farm. Um, as you can see, the mangoes, with a couple of weeks and the mango should be ready. Uh, so they've done pretty well this year. Uh, as you can see, we had to naturally. Um, use natural organic um, kind of I don't even like the word pesticide but it's just to keep those little um, buggers off the um, off the tree so they don't kill them and cause an infestation so that was important and that took ages I mean we've got 300 trees as you can see some trees barely have any fruit at all so it's almost like it rests for a year and then hopefully next year it will be it will be full like the rest of them uh, apples are going really really well this has been the best harvest we had for these beautiful apples I can't wait to try one of those um, figs have been a bit dry this year I uh, gotta say so just take one off and show you a little bit dry although Lily loves them. So we've got figs to pick on this tree. These three or four trees. I don't know how many we've got. Yeah, three. One, two, three, four, five. We've got six. Six figs. So they'll, oh look, one's just dropped down. Now, that actually will be okay to eat. So another couple of days and that'll be fine to eat. So I'll take that. So yeah, um, okay. The guys are working up here. So this this is the project. Okay, we wanted to um, affect the system and not give it anything at all. Not feed the system. So as you're looking there, there's a huge project taking place. Uh, we've got three full time uh, workers, and as you can see up there, there's a structure being put up, huge structure, and that's for the uh, solar panel. I know some of you are going to say, oh, solar panels, then they're, they're no good. You, you know, I get it, I get it, but to get off grid, uh, we've chosen the best of the panels, um, which coincide with the farm's electric. So it's a huge panel, plus the, the little um, casita at the back is has holding all the panels as well so it's a huge project um, and you know somebody has to manage it and take care of it so this is we've got probably another three weeks two two three weeks to go something like that maybe less but because of the heat the guys they struggle they struggle in this heat so they can only do so much work uh, which we totally appreciate um, I don't know. Now, come to think about it, um, why they chose this time of month to do it. They could have just left it another month. We'd have been fine with that. But hey-ho, it's good. They're doing a great job. We actually originally wanted wood, um, uh, a framework. But, I mean, you're looking at another two to 3,000 more. So the metal structure um, and, and, of course, wood in the burning heat only lasts so long. So that's something to think about, um, as whereas the metal will uh, last for a long, long time. Uh, the huerto as well. So our beautiful huerto, as you can see, we've got melon, melons, lots of huge melons down there. Um, planted these actually um, from where our chickens used to be. They all got killed, do you remember? by a, a wild animal. So we haven't had anything since. Uh, it might be a project here where I have two, two um, maybe a mobile home, wood, wood houses that you sit on top um, for rent. That's something we're considering. 
Anyway, so when when the chickens um, ate the um, tomatoes um, and they pooed, this is what came out. <laughs> these these tomato plants all the way along. So we planted them, and you can see over there. There's some tomatoes growing there. But if you actually look at the uh, this section here, all the way down, this is um, we planted. Actually, the guys planted them too close. So we're going to have to take them, some of them out and put them over there. Uh, I don't know why they planted them so close. Uh, the closer you plant them, the, the smaller they yield. So they're growing now nicely. Uh, oh yeah, these were planted last year. These are blackberries. Uh, we've had a massive, beautiful yield from these. These have been gorgeous. So uh, we haven't really eaten so many of the uh, grapes this year to be fr to be fair um, the ones at the top where the guys are working we're trying to rescue them so um, I'll just show you we, we kind of neglected because there's so much going on at the moment so they've kind of dried up now you can see they've dried up so yeah uh, in and amongst that I've been trying to do videos I've been trying to, I've been trying to do um, uploads. I've been trying to work on crystals, you know. So I've tried to balance the whole thing out. So I just wanted you to know that's why I haven't been doing lives because we're busy. Uh, have a great day. Take care. Love you all from uh, Lily up there, enjoying the sun, and myself. Uh, it's probably about 20, 27, 28 degrees, and it's going to get hotter. So yeah, from Mango Farm, have a lovely day guys.